Hey level uppers, it's Larry, and this is a lore overview of one of the most recognizable dungeons in Kunark, Kern's Tower. This story takes place back during the reign of Benro Sathir, who, at the apex of his empire's power, acknowledged that there were more sinister ways to ensure fear was perpetuated throughout the empire's domination. Violence is almost second nature to Ixars, and quelling any dissent or rebellion through said violence helped safeguard complete control over the Empire. During a time where Ixars were conquering, enslaving, and murdering all those who resisted across Kunark, it eventually got to a point where the processing of enemies of the Empire could be streamlined. Kern Machta, a byproduct of the Ixar way of life, was always obsessed with torture. He was unforgiving to his enemies on the battlefield during his military campaigns, and that paired well with his loyalty to Venral Sathir, who decided that Kern be promoted to the Imperial Interrogator and Executioner. In this role, Kern had free reign to spread fear and collect subjects for his torturous ways completely unchecked. Seeing this as an effective way to consolidate the torturing efforts, Venral Sathir ordered that Kern be built a massive tower to serve as Kern's violent playground. Even though Kern had his own tower, he remained very active at the front lines of Warsaw's Woods, pushing an aggressive offense against the giants. Any giant or resistance that wouldn't be killed in battle would be escorted back to his tower and would be subjects of his hundreds of different torture devices that he had on hand. But even bad things must come to an end and Kern had somehow found himself in what he felt was the climax of his torturous career. An infamous enemy of the Empire had been captured, and Kern wanted all hands on deck to ensure that no detail would be missed with the methods of pain that he would inflict to his prized possession. So much detail, in fact, that it took the attention away long enough to allow a prisoner to attempt escape. The prisoner was being held captive in the basement of the tower, which also served as a massive storage to malfunctioning or decommissioned machines of torture. In desperation and in sheer fear, the prisoner fashioned a tool to help him dig a tunnel far enough away from the evil tower to escape what was most certainly going to be a slow and painful death. Tragically, the prisoner wouldn't find the exit. Instead, he would find his fate by digging right into a portal that would unleash the dark children of Brel Celeris, the Burinai. The Burinai, who were quite proficient with necromancy and mysticism, would advance into the basement depths of Kern's tower, and would be disgusted by what they would discover. They immediately determined that it would be existentially necessary to destroy all that they could within the tower as quickly as possible. The swift advance would take Kern completely off guard, and he would be captured. In a twist of fate, Kern found himself at the receiving end of the torture process, and he would be tortured for an entire year before eventually succumbing to his wounds. Tapping into the dark arts, it's suspected that the Burinai raised the fallen jailers and other Ixar inhabitants into a state of undead torment as eternal punishment. And that's the lore behind the Kern's Tower that we all know and love. Thank you for watching, make sure to check me out on Twitch and Discord, and we'll see you next time. Level up hype!